Ruthie Bolton is here with us, and she's nodding because she gets that whole don't jinx your Olympic <laughs> dream kind of thing. Exactly. <laughs> and she is joining us here with a friend. We'll introduce you in just a minute uh, to talk a little bit more about a program that they're working on. But I want to ask you quickly, mm -hmm. that ACL injury that um, Lindsey Vaughn had to withdraw from her Sochi uh, competition with you had that same thing mm -hmm. before your second Olympic team. Yes, I did. People said you would never be able to go back. You did, got the gold medal. Are you surprised that for her with a very similar injury that it got to this point? Well, you know, it's such a tough injury. You know, I was on crutches for like 16 weeks, and, and even my doctor, Eric Hyden, didn't really believe that I could probably get back from it because it's a tough injury. You have to learn how to walk all over again. And then when you come back, you got to make sure you don't come back too soon. So, so it's a tough injury. I actually, you know, she's still pretty young, so I hope that she fights back and, and eventually gets back. Well, that's certainly her, her plan. She's not planning on retiring. All right, so let's talk about why you guys are here today. We're talking about what do you do, you know, after the Olympics. And you have this great platform, and mm -hmm. you, Ruthie, have just done so much. So tell us about the latest program and Dr. Carol Cooks and why he's involved in it with you. Oh, yeah, definitely. I know you left behind. You know, I'm a huge advocate for youth, and I've been blessed to play the game of basketball and play on a big stage, but, you know, this is another stage, and it's about impact now using about wrapping uh, our arms around the city and um and carol cooks his passion for no youth left behind has been amazing and we're just trying to show people that we still care about the mm -hmm. youth and that we haven't forgotten about them and and i just i feel like you know we campaign for president and governor i think we need to campaign for our youth and let's save our youth so so we're doing this um we're working on no youth left behind working on this project and we want our supporters to help us. You need some people. You need some brains need, to come in need, and give you some need help with this. We need 75 bodies. You need 75 bodies. So, Dr. Cooks, a lot of, it's all education based. You're talking about tutoring, you're talking about helping kids find internships. And I would imagine at the root of it, you're talking about people to come in and be really good role models. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, I CARE stands for Inner City Arms Around Education. And most individuals that are in Sacramento know that Oak Park is one of the oldest or the oldest uh, communities in our capital city. So, uh, education is so important. Our college students have really been uh, very supportive from Consumers, City, American River, Sierra, Folsom, and Sac State, and also mm -hmm. UC Davis. So with the help of college students, we are calling out also to the community, even veterans, to come out and support. We need 75 bodies. And what that is is that it's not a march, it's not a rally, it's not a protest. We're not passing out information. We're not asking for donations. We're not blocking traffic. We're actually just saying... <laughs> you want people to come in and just do something. Yes. <laughs> we just want them to come out and show that they care. We're going to be holding signs on January 15th, okay. asking them to, to demonstrate I Care Inner City Arms Around Education to introduce the youth awareness campaign. Who is the most motivating person for you, Ruthie, as you look back to say when you were in school? Because you also went through this whole series of people telling you you cannot do things. You know, Which, who, by the way, does not work with this. Oh, one. it doesn't work with me. <laughs> you know who inspired me? My, my father. You know, you know, he's passed on, but he really inspired me and motivated me. And he said, it doesn't matter what people say. You know, he said, as long as you know who you are on the inside, and he really just, and he was big for youth, too. Mm -hmm. He's a huge uh, advocate for youth and about giving back, so he really has been my, my role model and definitely taught me a lot about giving back and about making a difference and believing who you are. And quickly, how do people get involved? They can go to the website uh, today, please, this okay. morning, mm -hmm. icareeducation.org, icareeducation.org. And when they go there, they can go to Ruthie's Vision for Our Youth. And when they click there, they can sign up, and today, within 24 hours, they'll be notified and given all the instructions, all the details on how they can support this uh, introdu introduction. And then, actually, one of the things you'll see when you go onto that page is a story that Mike DeSell did very recently about the organization, Good. so you get more background. Thank you for coming sure. in. And I want to give a shout out to the Sahara family for investing in the youth, and also Noah for giving back to the youth, you know, and just believing in our youth. So, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thanks for all the good work you're doing in our community.